Greetings, and welcome to the first video on IP addressing and subnetting IPv4 addresses. Today we will demonstrate two different methods for converting dotted decimal notation to binary notation and vice versa. The first method is the divide by two method. The second and more popular is the weighted method. Both methods produce the same results, so if you grasp one better than the other, focus on that method. Let's get started. IPv4 is a 32-bit address of your network and host address. It is made up of four octets separated by periods. Each octet has a range from 0 to 255 when written down in dotted decimal notation, or DDN, as in 192, 168, 1, and 17. However, computers cannot read dotted decimal notation. They can only read two states, called binary. This section will show you how to take dotted decimal notation, or DDN, to binary format. The first octet in the above address is 192. To translate 192 to binary can be accomplished two ways. The first is the divide by 2 method, and the second is the weighted method. Let's start with the divide by 2 method. If we write out the first octet of the IP address 192, and then we divide that by 2, our answer is 96, and we have no remainder. It is very important to write down whether or not you have a remainder, as we will use this data later. Take 96, divide that by 2, you get 48, and you have no remainder. Take 48, divide that by 2, you get 24, and you have no remainder. Take 24, divide that by 2, you get 12, and you have no remainder. Take 12, divide that by 2, you get 6, and you have no remainder. Take 6, divide that by 2, you get 3, and you have no remainder. Take 3, divide that by 2, you get 1, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Now, working from the right side, or least significant bit, the LSB, to the left side, or most significant bit, the MSB, write down a 0 if no remainder, and a 1 if there is a remainder. Now take the 168 in the second octet and divide by 2 in the same manner as the first octet. Take 168, divide by 2, you get 84, and you have no remainder. You take 84, divide that by 2, you get 42, and you have no remainder. Take 42, divide that by 2, you get 21, and you have no remainder. Take 21, divide that by 2, you get 10, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 10, divide that by 2, you get 5, and you have no remainder. Take 5, divide that by 2, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Take 2, divide that by 2, you get 1, and you have no remainder. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and you have a remainder of 0.5. Working from the LSB to the MSB, taking the remainder 0 as 0 and remainder value as a 1, you get... One zero one zero one zero zero zero. Using the one is easy. Just take one, divide that by two, you get zero, and you have a remainder of 0.5. There's no reason to go any further, as preceding zeros are irrelevant. You get zero 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 one, or just one. The last octet in the address is 17. Take 17, divide that by two, you get eight, and the remainder is 0.5. Take 8, divide that by 2, you get 4, and there's no remainder. Take 4, divide that by 2, you get 2, and there's no remainder. Take 2, divide that by 2, you get 1, and there's no remainder. Take 1, divide that by 2, you get 0, and there's a remainder of 0.5. Working from the LSB to the MSB, you get 10001. 